Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here at the University of Nebraska. We're going to be doing a uh, lab activity. Here's the equipment you've got. A system that's a closed aquarium. And we're going to have a couple of thermometers in it. We've got a thermometer over here. We'll call it thermometer A. A thermometer here. Seems reasonable to call that thermometer B. Can anybody guess what we're going to call this thermometer? Very good, thermometer C. We're going to have energy coming in in the form of light. And we're going to have a black piece of paper here. Now, the air inside of this is invisible. We can't see it. And so we're going to have a source of smoke. A little piece of incense is going to be burning here. And it's going to be creating some small particulates that will get trapped in the air and maybe show us what the air is doing. Here we've got an aquarium. We haven't done anything to it. It's the start of the experiment. We're going to read thermometer A, thermometer B, and now thermometer C. All right, now we're going to turn on the lights uh, in the system, and we're going to turn off the room lights. And here's our system. We're going to let the system sit for uh, five minutes and see how the light affects the temperature of the system. We're not really going to let it sit for five minutes. We're going to turn the camera off. We're going to come back five minutes later. It's now five minutes later. Let's go look at these thermometers again. Thermometer A, thermometer B, thermometer C. If there's anything happening in there, in the air, we can't see it. So we're going to put a tracer in there in the form of incense. and we're going to do a, a demonstration on convection. We're starting off with an aquarium and we're going to use the walls of the aquarium to define our system. We have a, a roof to it. We're going to make that out of glass. We've got a bottom, sides. Well, well, it's an aquarium. You've seen aquariums. At any rate, we've got a light mounted on one side and the light will be our source of energy. And we're going to put energy into one part of the aquarium. It's going to hit a little a black paper. It's going to represent the ground or something like that. What's going to happen is uh, it's going to get warm. The light's going to hit it, and energy transfer is going to take place, and this stuff is going to get warm. Now, the air that's in contact with this will, will also get warm. As a result, it starts moving faster. When it moves faster, it moves further apart. This changes the density of the material. And density, which is a completely separate topic, probably you've already had density. We would teach you that so that you can understand what's happening. What happens with density is gravity pulls down on the molecules. Gravity is pulling down on all of the air. Now, when the molecules spread out, it changes the density. Gravity isn't pulling quite as hard. So the cold air that's in here gets pulled down. This warm air kind of gets pushed up. It floats. And so it floats on the cold air. But what happens when the cold air comes in and it starts moving in like this, now it's in contact with this warm thing. It starts getting warmer. So it starts to get pushed up. And so we end up with hot air rising and the cold air falling to take its place. This is called convection. It's a process called convection. And it happens in fluids, gases or liquids. It has to do with differential heating. One part's getting warmer than the other. So we're going to set up a lab, a demonstration, to see this process occurring. 